G'day guys, it's the Brisbane brothers here. Ozzy, Dan's. All right. Good luck, get a bit of water in there. First base. Next to the lady. Okay, all right. Get in there. Get him back in. What is it, a little GD yep. or? Oh, oh what? Sure, I'll just try and get him back in quickly. Oh, Check this out, beautiful little specimen. Look at yeah. that, guys. Beautiful little Trevally Logan River. Let's get the release. Made. Beautiful. Well, I've said. Yeah, basically, yeah. What yeah, size is that one? It's a uh, 12 foot, but just a cheap um, Wilson? Wilson, I'm sure, catch or something. I think that one's Wilson. Basically, I loop it up so the loops are like going smaller so they don't tangle, so they're like nice and neat. And the final, the final loop you want to get bunched about hip height, probably a little bit higher. Basically split the net in half. This is the easiest technique I've found to get like a bigger spread. So basically split it in half. For this technique you've got to put it in your mouth. I like to get a bit of a clean bit. Obviously not the sinker, but a bit of rope. You just kind of hold it in your lips so you're not really like eating it. Or, yep, yep. Not eating it or anything, but about halfway towards you. And then what you do once you've got that in is you're grabbing where that sink, sinker line meets the um, bottom of the sinker bunch here, you just grab that yep. and you bring it to about halfway along that bunch, but you're checking that it's um, it's not, like you're kind of using your fingers there to make sure it's it's going to just feed out evenly and that's all free and tangled, like before you've done this you've checked the nets all, and they're going to spread out, so grab that in there. Fuck, what a spread, that was sick. Spread. <laughs> you, you get a full spread almost every time if you do that, it's pretty easy. Yeah, Yo, cool. that was awesome. Sauce in, your, in your mouth, but yes. get a taste of the environment, what it's like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Might have got something, hopefully, in that one. Also, you want to pull it in slow so it doesn't lift up. You want the, um, the net to do its thing and bunch together. Get a current to bring it away from the chest. Oh, I think you're waiting. Oh, prawn. This net's about five and a half kilos dry. So when your arms extended out, when I was pulling it in, I was trying to actually keep it away from the jetty because yeah. it was getting blown under. Yeah. Was, Gee, think, that was an awesome spread. One prawn got away, tiny one. Nothing, but yeah, good spread. It's the quickest, um, easiest way to throw it. There's a few other techniques, but. All right, guys, nice specimen of banana prawn from the Logan River. It's in a spark. Unfortunately, some beaters to the spot today and cast and cast it up a storm, but we got one, guys. I'll check it out, see if we can convert it to a fish. Awesome spread, bro. Awesome spread. Yep, definitely. It's an action in this one. Very good, guys. Yep. Oh, oh what? Not getting out, are they? Watching the couple of them get out there, that's just what happens. Oh, look at the top here. Look at the top here. Did you get a couple? Look at the top here, right? No way. Oh, no. Drop his hand. Just spin it around the front. That's lost the net. Oh. Thought the net would make it past the corner, but let's check this out, guys. Oh, bro. No way. Oh, out, what? Oh, that's what we want, man. Bananas. Banana yes. Skin of spark, guys. Like oh, yes, guys. Oh, we're going to convert, guys. It's a really strong current. It's a bit of a trick to um, letting the net sink and getting it in without um, lifting the net. But I've done it right then, guys. Look at that. Oh, bro. Beautiful. Oh, these are so clean. Look at them. Oh, that's almost dinner, bro. All right, there's a few other spots along here we'll try out. Quickly clear the net. Yep, there's a few Anything more in it now, bro. Yeah, man. Skinner's Park, Logan River. After work land-based fishing session with Ozzy and Dan. Let's go, bro. Show us what you've got. Beautiful. Oh, no, guys. Guys, that's a bit of a 
some stuff up that one. Uh, so you want to go close to the tree, but you don't want to go too close to the tree. I might have still got some prawns. Oh yeah, you definitely got prawns. Yep. Got a bit of action up there. Uh, fortunately, lifted the net. Let's see if I got any results. Are you on? Yep. No oh, way. Guys, look at this. No, what? Guys, beautiful Logan River brim. Yes. Beautiful specimen. Right, guys. Yeah, bro, we're gonna get it out of here. just cut him off. Beautiful brim, look at Little perch. This rod here just got a little bite, guys. Yep. Might be on, bro. Might be on. The old double hooker with a perch. And just watch it. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah pick spooked, the picked it up and dropped it. I'd say. I think Dan's might have a little bites, guys. Might be a little brim. I've got a prawn on. Fast small bites. I'll get my prawn out. Nice, not too far out. Right? I've got it. Definitely saw a couple of little, little nips. I'll leave the guys not to spook it. Bit of a tip for fishing, guys. Bit of a tip, guys, for fishing is you always want to be connected. You want to know where your bait's at. You want to imagine how big your bait is, how big the bites were, how many. If it felt like it pulled the bait off or not, you don't want to pull the bait in. It's, you got something that you work out for yourself, guys. You don't want to um, pull the bait in too soon. If you've still got bait on, you can potentially get another strike, but you don't want to leave a hook out there with no bait. So you've got to kind of keep connected, guys. I, I love to multitask. You probably notice we throw the nets and have the rods out at the same time. But you've always got to keep an eye on, otherwise, you can be wasting time. You can pull a rod in, you think it's had no bites, and it's got a blank hook. You miss the strike, or you can pull it in, and you've actually pulled the bait away before the fish was going to go for it a second time. So that's something, guys, that you'll um, you'll learn with your own experience. A bit of a um, simple fishing basics, fishing logic. You guys like to call it. Guys, what happens in conditions like this is the fish um, has a go at the bait. It's it's so turbulent, the tide's blowing out. The fish actually loses the bait because they get caught up in the frenzy of going to attack it and they can just swim off and they can actually lose scent and they, sometimes they'll just swim off to something else they'll actually completely lose where the bait was they can't see it, they're just going by feel and by scent a lot of times guys get a bit of a hit rather spook them or they just lose track of where they're at yep might be back Just got to be patient with the bait runner. We're just going to leave it. We're going to wait till he picks it up and starts to run a bit of line. Just check how loose is it. Yeah, but he's pretty loose. It's probably a false alarm there. Might have to stop the camera. Check that prawn. Oh, what? That rod. Excellent. So they're actually coming on right now. What's on that one, bro? A little prawn. I think both my rods have prawns on. This is a single hook, that's a double hook. We're, um, we're weighted a little bit light today, guys. We don't really like to fish with too heavy of a weight because you actually scare a lot more bites away. But in these conditions, it's a lot more. You've got to. Um, it's a lot more tedious. You've got to really man. Your, it's, we're getting drifted. All of our baits are down there, all in a bunch. But we're managing, guys. We're not tangling. We do, but you've got to do what you can do, guys. He said a bit of a touch. I might have to check it. Might have been bitten off. What I was saying earlier guys, is when you get the bite and the fish lose, don't come back for it. Bit of a tip, a little one I've found, years of fishing at the Gold Coast Bait Fishing as a young fella is, 
you get the bite, they don't come back, you keep the line tied. What you do is you, you go searching for it, you give it a bit of slack. Sometimes it can just shift the bait back into the path of the fish or it can re-evoke the fish to go for it again. That's a bit of a tip guys, if you try that one it might work. When you're finesse fishing for um, just bread and butter fish, you're getting bites, they back off. You slack the tension off the line and let it drift and it will go slack and they'll see the characteristic of the bait change and it could um, provoke them to strike it again. I'll check that bait, I'm probably beaten off. I'm gonna check your one, I'll just... Nothing? Yep, yep guys. This is what we've been waiting for all day. I'm just gonna be patient. Feels like a little brim. Okay, it's not very big and it's coming straight in. Oh, here we go, it's getting a little bit madder. Ah, oh, beautiful little brim for you guys. Check this out. Beautiful little yellow tail brim. Oh, thanks, mate. Guys, best way to handle brim. When they're free dangling, come in from the bottom, guys. Try and come in from the bottom. I'll just show you guys, get it, stop it spinning coming from the bottom. It's a bit safer. Watch out for the anal spike, that can get you. Cause a bit of a mischief. Mate. Yep. All right, guys, little brim. Best thing to do with a little brim like this, let them go. The best thing about catching a beautiful fish like this is watching the things in the way. Beautiful. Awesome. Love it. Yo. That's what it's all about. Beautiful cast. Going for a brim. They're around guys, but we're not, we're not getting on the hook, so so using it. Alright guys. Let's see if we got anything. Oh yep. Guys, guys, guys. There's some prawns in the net. Hope they don't get out. But there's definitely some prawns in the net guys. Bit of a challenge when the um, current's drifting. If you cast on that side, the net will get blown into the edge of the jetty and get caught in the barnacles. And as you're pulling it up, guys, look at that. Yep, prawn, yep. All right, guys, a bit of weight. Oh, a bit of weight in this. What have I got? A tree or something? Might have picked up some snag. Unless it's just bold prawns. <sighs> Never know, guys. Could be a fish. Something heavy in it. Prawns at the top. Oh, no way. Oh, what? Look at the action. Okay, hang on. Okay, hang on. Can you get the rest of it off? Prawns, but good on your brew. Alright, guys. Having a good time out on the jet ski? got some hooks in it. Yeah guys, see that? Okay guys, let's get check these prawns out. It's way of a sacrifice net guys, bit of a recommendation, have a good net and a bad net. Use the bad net for the first time and it's like this. First time casting at the end, sometimes the bad net reaps, reaps you some big nice juicy prawns like this. Check this out guys. No, oh, well, bananas. I've already got a few little balls of prawns from my first cast. Guys, check these out. Beautiful. Oh, bro. Wow. Real nice numbers. Absolute numbers. specimen banana prawns. Beautiful. See them straight in the bucket. If I didn't get that tree, guys, I would have had it. Close that top pocket. Drag it over there, bro, so that we never get snagged on it again or anyone else. 